Hello, this is Mark Hilliard from Beyond 20. Today I want to quickly talk about uh, database maintenance within Surewell Service Management. Now, you probably at some point in your working with Sherwell have run into an issue where you create a new record and then you go do a quick search for it and you can't find it by any of the searchable fields, even though it's full text search enabled and you know it's there. This is almost always associated with something wrong with the database indexes, or the table indexes, I should say. And this is actually a very, very easy thing to fix. You don't have to have direct access to SQL. Really, all you need is admin privileges within Sherwell itself. If you go to your database category within the orange pill, uh, there is a selection called System Maintenance. You will have a large selection of things that you can do from here. What I generally recommend, if you are running into an issue where searches are not working the way you expect them to, is to do a rebuild of the full text search catalog a rebuild of all your business object indexes, and go ahead and rebuild the system table indexes too, just, just for good measure. Uh, you can shrink the SQL event log. Uh, that will actually help with performance if you have a particularly large event log. If you've been running Sherwell for a very, very long time and uh, your SQL database administrators do not do uh, frequent cleanups of event logs, that might not be a bad idea as well. Uh, finally, the last three, they're very nice uh, if you're having issues with things that you see there, if you have a lot of unused user accounts, uh, if you're having issues with queues, you can certainly refresh those sorts of things and get those cleaned up, but most of the time those things are not really necessary on a regular basis. Usually this is the, the top three are the ones that you want to do. Uh, you can make a selection of which business objects you want to do, and it is a list of all your business objects that are indexed. Um, I usually just go ahead and do them all. It doesn't take very long. Uh, once you're done, you've selected what you want, just click OK. And as you can see, this runs fairly quickly. Now obviously it'll take much, much longer on a much bigger database, but uh, this will take care of that issue. If you need to, system maintenance is actually something you can build also directly into your scheduler. So if you wanted to add it, you can simply go here and add a new item. And the action is database maintenance and you get basically the same window here. So you could do on a regular basis, a recurring basis, rebuild all those indexes uh, and you know here we could set up a recurring time, whatever time of day, uh, happen every, other, every day, uh, go on for as long as you need it to. Now obviously I would certainly recommend doing this at an off hour, something like you know two in the morning. Try not to interrupt things like um, user imports from Active Directory and other sorts of database intensive actions that take place on a regular schedule, but you can schedule this on a regular basis, especially if you are experiencing this frequently. I do have a couple of clients that do have to run this on a daily basis to ensure that their data indexes uh, are maintained and that the full text search does continue to work. I hope this has been helpful and I encourage you to subscribe to this YouTube channel Beyond 20 LLC and please visit our website at www.beyond20.com. Mm -hmm.